like to call this meeting um, of the Berlin Boylston Regional School Committee Budget Subcommittee to order. Okay, thank you. These are the new ones? Yeah. Okay, so today we're just reviewing um, any updates that we're making to the budget um, yeah. after our town forum, which I thought went very well. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was great, yeah. great to get the feedback early so we can uh, plan accordingly. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So, all right. So, Nancy, do you want to kind of? Yeah. Just, so, I'd say I really, walk through the changes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, this will be actually pretty quick. I really wanted to touch base. I'm starting to input everything for the fiscal year 25 budget. I really want to get things in there and keep mm -hmm. it in there and make sure these are things that we want. I want to kind of make the process a little smoother than last year now that we have a better flow going. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple changes we made. L last time you looked at this, we had floating paraprofessionals at Boylston Elementary and Berlin Elementary. Mm -hmm. We took those out. Um, after some discussion, um, we found other ways to make it work, so those aren't needed at this point in time. Okay. Um, the... Where did it go? Sorry. Hold on one sec. Is. Here we go. The adjustment counts. So that's the first page. Right, Everything so else removed. is remain the same. Just remove the two floaters, and with removing the two floor, floaters, the benefits dropped because we're down mm -hmm. to nine new positions yeah. from 11. Second page. We're keeping on the .40 adjustment counselor at this point in time. I am going to move forward and keep that in the budget. Um, one thing that's not here that was just brought to my attention, so I didn't even get a chance to add, is antivirus software yeah. um, should have been put in here. It's a 25%, 25%, 75% split, $10,000 total. Where is that? Uh, um, oh, I'm, I apologize. Under IT. So that will bring our total IT request to $75,818. And those are my changes, unless mm. anybody else has anything they would like to So the only thing, Julie, I don't know how you feel about this. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm just getting my voice back. Oh. <laughs> it's, I mean, I'm not sick anymore, but it's been like, mm -hmm. you know, two weeks of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going around. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No. Just kidding. Kids. You got little kids. You got it. That's it. You got everything. Um, the only thing I, so what I heard, what I took away from, was it last Tuesday, two Tuesdays ago, was that um, right now our ask is obviously higher than what the towns are willing to give. We know there might be other things that might come along the pike. So I guess the only thing I would say is similar to last year, um, you know, and we don't have to talk about specifics now because I think that there's no point in doing that. I think that's just something that you should, you guys should do. Have you prioritized what else we can cut? Because in my head, I have a few ideas, but I obviously I'm not the expert. So, um, you know, I'm wondering if there's any other things on here that you might, you know, and like I said, yeah. again, I'm not saying this is the time for this. I'm just saying similar to what we did last year mm. where we had, you know, a um, almost like a priority list. Maybe we should get so that done early. I, or early. I do have. You do? We All right, do, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. we do have. Yes. Because I feel like we know other things are going to come up right. that are that critical. Would, right throughout this school year yeah so i see some things We're, on here in my mind that i might not call critical right that we might be able to remove yeah. whether we all align on that is one thing but as long as i think you have that list between nancy and carol yeah and as we get down the road we just can discuss it yeah. um yeah so julie i don't know how you feel about that yeah i would trust carol and nancy yeah and yeah. that yeah, and I guess I think we're we're probably going to be on the same page with that because I we think talk so. so much about yeah. all of these different categories and really what our needs are. Mm -hmm. So I 
I think, I think it look, I, to me it looks modest, I would say. It does. We, d we did sit with the principals yeah. again and went through all of this with them. Mm -hmm. Well, we looked at the, also looked at the district improvement right. plan because right. we got so much last year that had come from the other mm -hmm. years. So we're, I don't want to say we're not ahead, but right. yeah, I guess we are in a way mm -hmm. from, from in the plan itself. Yeah. So right. That's a good thing. I think it's great. And things, yeah, things could come up, right? Yeah, I hate to cut the paras, but at the same point in time, I think if the principals feel that everything is under control and yeah. they're able to get subs properly. I know paras sub yeah. a lot. Yeah. And I think. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of discussion. We had Janelle in here talked about it. We talked with the principals about it. Yeah. Um, and so we're thinking of ways that we can make that work so that consults are taken care of. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, was there, so was there anything else? Not from us, unless yeah. You guys so what are no? So what are next steps in this process? I so we get it. So my calendar. When's the so we are gonna make a? We've already presented preliminary. Oh, I got a calendar. So if we have our meeting on the fourteenth, I have a revised budget calendar to give to you guys. Um, oh, perfect. Which I didn't bring it with me, so I apologize. But okay, we can pull it up here. That's fine. 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 The okay. time. The timeline. Yeah. Yeah, the timeline. Yep. We have our first meeting with Berlin FinCom early December. My goal is to really get everything in and situated by Thanksgiving. That is my goal between now and Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, I mean, this is pretty, this yeah, is it's pretty just detailed. I now know. it's just a matter of just getting it all in. Yeah. Right. right that that right. now's the yep. busy time for me. Um, you mean just doing all the actual spreadsheets? Yeah, getting yeah, it yeah, in yeah, the yeah. system yep, and yep. Uh, all that Yeah, because you have stuff. to key in line by line into yeah, whatever you're... Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I wanted to make sure I kind of got this straight. Last year, I felt like there was a lot. Take it in, put it out, take it take, take it out, put it in. You know what I mean? We there started was, so big last right. year. Right. So I think, I, yeah. I think we have a better grasp this year. I don't yeah. think there'll be as much. It's like the athletic tra train... I don't know, even if it doesn't happen, it might be, it seems like it's a needed position. Okay. Right, Julie? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think is, we need to, I mean, you know. Do we need it? Does it have to be in places coming Right. Here, Can you spread it out? Something that is expected for the year after. But I think we have to keep it on the radar screen when we are. Yeah. Right? We have to get it. It's just which year we need to. Right. I and think it's going to be hard to find somebody. That's, yeah. That's the challenge I think the districts are worried about. Right. I mean, honestly, I think the only wiggle room is like, we added an additional classroom supplies. The rest are positions and mm -hmm. miscellaneous software. Yeah, the supplies could be the wiggle room. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I'm wondering, um, and it's a, where is it? The bus. The bus. The right? bus, yep. So, right. I mean, I don't know. Again, you are the expert on that. That's a lot of money to add a bus for a school that has how many kindergartners? 20 something. Can, it's like, it would be great if we could get the um, the census with the count going into Berlin for next year. Because if it's yeah. another small class of 20 kids, then why, why do we need to add? You know what I mean? I you don't know. know. It, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to know, too. I mean, to cut no, you no, off, no, no. just because... It's not about the number of kids. It's the it's the distance Location. that they're traveling. Because Berlin has so much land. It's they're going. The it, it's building just, is happening out farther, out by the Hudson Crossing area. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, it's growing there. So you're yes. maybe even scooping up one or two kids out there. But they're coming from miles. From miles. Of right? course, from of course. The other side, if it's from ten miles, it's thirty yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so on that's a bus, the yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. It's not even around right. enrollment. But then we, then we don't. We can't anticipate how many kids are being dropped off. I right? pick right. up and drop off too. Are they going to even be taking the buses? It's just yeah, it's it's distance. It's not it's kids. Distance, it's not kids, right? Right. So Could right now, the, pretty much most of our buses are an hour, um, and some parents have expressed concerns with that. Legally, we have to stay within an hour. We're yeah. Fine legally, but it it's a lot for a kindergartner. It's a lot for little ones. Is there, you know, is there any chance 
just out of the box that we could do something smaller for kids in a certain er like area that would be like a van cost or are they just almost as expensive or is that unrealistic i mean if you if you we're talking about picking up 15 students or 14 students is that a possibility to decrease the cost i don't know i'm just throwing that yeah, out there know. also who does the routes do you do that like the is there bus, a more the company efficient does. way to Look, do i don't the know routes? if they even have a driver you know right Oh, right. Yeah. I, I would know. love to like look at the routes. I'm not doubting the bus company, but you know, like also, I know also, I don't even live a mile from the school. And if my children were to ride the bus, I think one way would be like 45 minutes and the other way would be like a minute. Yeah. So we walk to school every day or we drive. So right. I mean, it's just silly things like that. Like, well, because they go out and then they it come goes back. out and then it comes back. But it's like if it's I, I just. I don't know. I, I just don't understand. You know, why wouldn't you just have one do like all this and then go back to the school and one do like all this and go back to school and one do like all these close ones and then go to the school? There's I don't so know. Much I more don't behind, know. Like you would. Yeah. There's so much more behind it. If it was like twenty thousand, I'd be like, okay, but it's like hey, sixty. If you want 000. us to take it off. We'll no, no, I don't want. I know. I, I think. I just. Uh, There's a lot. You want to make an informed decision about taking. It I off think that I'd rather cut a bus than a teacher. Oh, yeah. Like, if we, we need, you know, some of these positions, like the nurse, the para, the tutor, the, the recess aide, I, the grounds maintenance, the trainer, I'd rather have that stuff mm -hmm. than the bus. Personally, Julie, how do you? We yeah, could I push I the bus off for uh, a year. I'm yeah. just saying if we have to make a cut, which is kind of the vibe I was getting. I would say we, we stay with where we are. And, and see how we can see how yeah. we go. Um, if it becomes an issue, I, I agree. I would look at the how it's routed. Maybe bus stops, and you can't do that for kindergartners. But I don't think it's. I personally, they use a routing software. Yeah. I do think. It's. I, I know some people have some concerns, but I think they do a good job. Yeah. Okay. I understand why they do what they do. Yeah. So, example, when they're going to Berlin. You're coming in, you pick the kids up on the way. Some, you know, you start mm -hmm. the furthest and you come in. A parent wanted them to go all the way back out on the way home and then come back to Tohonto. So, no. therefore, the kids who were picked up first get dropped off last. Mm -hmm. But then you're bypassing all these kids to get go back to the beginning. I think that's how it is yeah. in Boylston, though, but I don't... But are you doing any drop or are you just going right by? They want them to go right by. Yeah, so how long does that take? And if you were a parent, so if you were a parent, right, let me draw a diagram. So say this is, you go, yeah. say they're picking the kids up, right, okay. in the morning. You pick a, the kid up here, your school's here. Okay. You pick this kid up first and you drive to school. Blah, yep. blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. Now when you pick them up, you drop this kid off first even though this kid was picked up last. Mm -hmm. So some parents have suggested skip all these kids, skip them all, go right to this stop here and make that your first stop. With the kids on the bus. Right, so with the kids on right the bus. So you, then you go back. So yeah, if you're a parent who lives two minutes from the school, like you, this is yeah. what they're doing in Boylston, right? Yeah, I think And that's Boyles. exactly what's happening with your kids because you said one way is 45 minutes. They're yeah. skipping all those and going back. They must... But then as a parent like you, how is that fair? You live two minutes from the school. Well, and now your kid's on the bus for 45 minutes. I don't. Well, You yeah. can't win. What I'm trying you're to say is. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. Everybody. Everybody. The parents yeah. are gonna, who live close and get I upset. I do parent pickup. <laughs> right. I don't get upset. Right. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> yeah, but I get it. If you yeah, didn't, it's... wouldn't you be upset that your kid's on the bus for 45 minutes and you live two right? minutes away? Yeah. So. Well, I well, think there's. Well, no. Yes. You can drive them. You have the choice to drive. That's, like yeah, or, or yeah. walk. Like, oh, yeah. We have but kids still, that walk why, their fifth grade. They I walk agree along. with this. I agree with drive by them and come back and drop. Because by the time it takes you to get from the school to location one, it's, what, five minutes? Well, it should be ten so minutes. So a lot of That's times, the problem. though, it's the land in if Berlin. you drive by them, the roads are different. The routes are different. They're going to different locations. Some kids go to the grandparents' house. Some kids aren't getting dropped off where they're dropped off in the morning. So it changes everything. Yeah. And then it makes the route even longer than an hour. That's the problem. We had one, this one particular bus we were trying to do that with. And it actually, what did it make, an hour and 15 minutes, yeah, something yeah, like that? Yeah. Because the, they're just different. They're different. A lot of the but roads how does, are different. how does, you know, Teddy's here for his drop-off? Yeah. He can't then all of a sudden say, I'm going to Grandma's here. 
in the afternoon as long as it's consistent. Sure, he can. That's not, it's a whole different location. Well, he it might be. It depends where it is. That's what I mean. So right. it still would be the but same. It, Why would it no, be? No, because it, it changes the route. We thought he might go to Grandma's house. And then the, that's why the afternoon route's different. So I think maybe, because we're being so accommodating with letting people have multiple stops, maybe we think about charging for buses. Is that outside of the realm of possibility to do so other towns? So you can charge, charge sixth grade up. Yep. Sixth grade up. Yep. So you can't charge elementary school. No. Yep. All right, good to know. I come from a district that charged. I, I would check. I thought we could. I, I, I thought we I did mean, that and... Okay, maybe I I'm thought she was but very, I don't know, but yes, yes. Then let's yeah. check that's, it. What, yeah. that's maybe the only I'm thing incorrect. I, I would check that. Yeah, I just feel like, to Julie's point, like, okay, if you want two different stops, right? If you, your kid, you can't have two different locations, so the route has to change on the ride home because you want your child to be dropped off somewhere else to, that just doesn't seem like it's in the best interest of everybody else. And then, I didn't even know that was, that was, that was as long as it's yeah. consistent. Ah, so every day they go there. Yes. I see. Yeah. And I don't mean to contradict you. I just, I, I remember, that I thought that we did, but maybe I'm, I'm wrong about that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see us have to cut. Oh, I could, me, I might not be I'm right. Sure. I don't want to see us have to cut some of this really good stuff we've got in yeah. here for next year. Like, I really, big things for me is some of the improvements on the buildings and improving the athletic fields, I think. Yeah, 100%. As our athletic program, I, I just from that, outside looking and it seems like our athletic program is really ramping up that right football's yes, doing really well soccer's been doing really well for sure i'd like to invest i think money is spent well spent investing in that and mm -hmm. um you yeah, know investing just, in in the the personnel right the yeah, nurse yeah. and the teachers and yeah. i feel like we're better off coming in strong with what we really yeah. want and yeah, yeah. and then guys we go, don't want it i agree just, no i think we go with it i just the like i said the um no, I would leave it. It okay. seemed like there was a very big gap, and I think last year what happened is we had that attitude, and then we got to a certain point where we're like, we, we can't bridge that gap. If we can't yeah. bridge that gap, I want it to be in the back of your head like, okay, no big deal. I just have to do this. So it's not like a crazy amount of work for you to pull together immediately yeah. right mm -hmm. before votes, and then we have to, you know what I mean? We, things just kept, like to your point, things were changing so frequently last year. It pushed votes off, and then we were tight for getting in the announcement for town meeting and um i mean it all worked we're not going to bridge the gap with this there's uh, i can tell you right now there's no way this is not a full bridge but maybe a partial one yeah <laughs> this is definitely you know even getting rid of the bus you know yeah yeah how many i know buses does boylston have um five, five and then what about five berlin and three. three three yeah so wow that's but 200 five. 300 it's 100 it's a, berlin is two-thirds the size of Boylston. One third, right? You're two thirds. But it's very spread out. Yeah. But it, it, again, that's what I don't know because I'm not from that town right. is how spread out, like what is the square mileage of the town? And if you have students on one edge. Right, yeah, you gotta get them there. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like right. I just don't know the logistics mm -hmm. of it. So. I wanted to go back to the supplies again to mm -hmm. get your feeling. I, as I look over the list, I'm wondering, Nancy, is it possible just to increase, I mean, some of these things like glue sticks, maybe if we order more glue sticks or more scissors or more markers or something like that, include that in. But some of these things, I mean, there's the paper towel piece and then there's the, the Ziploc baggies or the Play-Doh, things like that that we that we handle in a different way. I know yeah. that yeah. even to put it out in the classroom and say, here's our, our classroom wish list, would parents can be willing to contribute to that? Yep, great idea. Yeah, because that's a lot. The supplies is there, right? Huge, because they want to have to doing it through the budget and taxes, yep. or they're yep. doing it through mm -hmm. out of pocket if they can do it. Right. But it's a lot, and I think we can save here. Yep. I don't know your thoughts yep. on that. Yep, totally agree, Carol. Okay. All right. I know not to like harp on the athletic fields, but um, <laughs> the refurbish of the track. I know this was discussed with the townspeople too. Um, you're not gonna know with the field until somebody comes in and does the assessment and applies some things. And you have to, I understand Dan said, waiting to hear from DCR on what applications can be applied. Do you have any update on that to this field? Yeah, we heard from DCR. Right. So they, what they, she didn't send what 
were the pesticides that could be used. Maybe that's the wrong word. Yeah, um, besides but, probably. Yeah, but so he we asked her again to please. I think he had to send in a formal letter to her. Okay. He did that. I awesome. know he did. So now we're awesome. waiting for that to Great. come back. But the other thing to mention with the CR that we had mm -hmm. asked yeah. about, there's a Got lot of yeah complaints about the parking that's my feeling. and parking yeah. spaces yeah. there. We cannot use that space in front of the ball field. You know, the folks wanted to pay uh, that. Yep. We can't do it. It's all part of that restriction. watershed restriction. Mm -hmm. There's piping under there. There's ah, So, okay. honestly, I hate to say it, Did but the only in way we could add parking in that area, yeah. because everything, it was, they had a certain amount percentage they could use and they increased it when the school was built. They even gave us the maximum amount. Mm -hmm. The only way they can do it is if we build a parking garage, a parking, like a right. elevated. That's so, a, and then there's another, how so much is, yeah. Is that a priority? I don't think you won't put that in a, I, I don't know if there are grants. I don't know if there are big contributors who'd love to do that. I don't know what that would involve. I don't know. We'd have right. to go probably to the zoning board about yeah. that whole piece. It's just food for thought because there's constantly those emails about parking and increasing the parking over there. It's we're, we're bound by the nature of the land that we're in. Yeah. So, but we did explore it. I mean, I have a letter and everything, so. You know, it may help the community if you, something was sent out maybe in the, at the, um, in the newsletter. Just an update on that. And then people say, oh, uh -huh. yeah. Maybe the next time you I'll put something okay, in about yeah. that. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, so one of the takeaways from that meeting we had with the towns was that we wanted to make a joint task force or committee, right? Yep. Yep. Am I saying that right? Ta was it a committee it or what? Ad hoc I'm committee. An ad hoc mm -hmm. committee. For the facilities um, in the town. Yeah. Boils, well, both towns, really. So I'm wondering if we're done talking about budget, if we want to talk about that, because that ties into facilities. And I think that's Absolutely. a bigger discussion on long term what do we want to do? A lot of ideas have been thrown around. Are we going to build a new school? What are we going to do with Boylston? But Berlin is, you know, has a lot of useful life left. Right. To Honto, we're kind of exploding out of with yeah. growth, right? Between the fields and whatever other issues we're having with the building. Like, what, what we need to have a greater discussion. Yeah. Almost like a steering committee. Um, obviously, no action is going to get taken immediately. But I think this committee kind of needs to do some research and figure out. So I don't know what the best way to do that is. I think it's hard to say, okay, we're going to get another committee going and one school committee rep and one rep mm -hmm. from this committee mm -hmm. and one rep from this committee. Cause, yeah. you know, That's got, why like, I think we were thinking of trying to do it with the towns because they, they have certain to. thoughts they around what yes. and, and needs that they need to address with other departments. Um, and other buildings in the in the two towns really and different kinds of needs but it, we, we should be part of that conversation um, I'm not oh, sure yes. if we do it even in isolation unless we go in and say this is what we need but I'm not sure we know yet no I think that I'm um, very solid about that so Julie does Berlin have a master steering plan committee master, we have a master plan we have master a plan, plan sorry planning board it's, so Boylston, ha we have a planning board, but we also have a master steering plant. We don't have that. Master plan steering committee. Thank you. Master plan mm -hmm. steering committee. No, we have a master plan for the town, and the committees all contribute to that on their own. And then it goes so into what? a plan that we all work to build. So that's kind of similar. It's just yeah, we have a committee that's yeah. kind of, it had this committee, there's appointed um, individuals from each town committee so they've appointed like a school committee member like a council of aging member like a fincom member like a, um, the select board appoints the members and then they come up with a plan and then they're in charge of implementing that i feel like this kind of falls into that um to come up with a plan that is the master plan for the town is that the idea yes Probably. master like any my understanding is like broad planning for the right. town big picture yeah. we need a senior center we need a new police station we we want to you know build more trails we want right. we're getting okay. all these cpa funds i think it's just like a committee that's i think i should know i'm on it um we haven't met in a so year that's another thing boylston now has cpa and schools can apply for cpa yeah so that could be money for fields but i know that 
we have fields, athletic fields in town that right the need. I know everyone needs. I know. Well, um, so that's going to be tough too. Yeah. But I, I just feel like we, um, and I again, I don't know who the right people are. Um, or what the right first step is, and I know everyone's so busy, but I mean, maybe do we table this to the spring, or is this something we should get started now? What are everyone's thoughts on, we, we gotta get some type of committee together, and we gotta figure out, I think right now we decided in the short term, we're gonna make the necessary fixes to Boylston Elementary. Mm -hmm. We had this yeah. $35,000 yep. yep. building study done. We came in, they said, okay, yep. you need this, this, and this. Yep. We're putting in, a, a, you know, a substantial amount of items but yeah. long term you know what are we going to do so i i think we do right. do what do you guys want to do do you want to start planning for a committee now is this something that we should own and run <laughs> or is this something that no i think we have to work with the town i think like carol said that of who's going to facilitate this? Because the town is not going to care if we need a new school. You know what I'm saying? Like we are. Gonna, somebody needs to drive this. Well, I think, I think we're waiting for a response back. It was put out there to to talk to about this. Again, we can follow up with them when we go to the meetings. The again, the other yeah, the FinCom. Let's fin that, that's a great idea. Board. Let's follow and up just with say those. We talked with you about that. What? Where are we at with that? What? What are we going to do? We just stay on it and just. I think it's a really important discussion. I do think. And talking to some of the town select board members and FinCom, mm -hmm. I think it's important too to be planning out five, mm -hmm. ten years from yes. now. I don't know if anybody really has the answer because right now that perhaps hasn't taken place in the way it needed to. So yeah, they're right. trying to fix little media issues. We're scampering to fix and things. Big yes. And it's hard to decide what what, to, plan, what right. to prioritize, but I. It right. seems so worthwhile. I would lo love to be part of that, the vision of the town, yes. the facilities. And I think we it just have to all sit and talk. All to right, it. so I let's, right. when we go to the fin, so we're going to, there's going to be a FinCom meeting. When's the FinCom meeting in Berlin? Is that when we're presenting December, the budget? December 12th? December 13th. Okay. All right, December. Oh, so it's December. It's December. And Boylston, do we know when we're doing that one yet? No. I don't know. I didn't get a date yet. All right, that's fine. Yeah. All right, so maybe when we go to those meetings, Julie, are you planning to attend? We can try yes. to. Is yeah, it? sorry. Um, you can meet too. You have to be part of the whole process. I yeah, so let's do it. it. Let's plan when we go. Let's plan to. We'll try to get that on the agenda and let's bring do it we up. Know if well, we won't be able to bring it up then. Can we see if we can get it I on don't their know agenda? Boylston's. Start I don't, a conversation. I think it would no? be a separate. Don't you think it would be a separate? I thought we would come back together again with the tentless town. Oh, so we you want to plan another forum? I would do it that way. Yeah. You want to do another forum? And maybe someone from finance. It was only an hour. It was. Um, it was quick after a school committee meeting. No, I think we should get a plan. The planning boards from the towns to come to these things too. Yeah, that would yeah, be great. Yeah, because that's who these architects are. Yeah. And who knows like where free land is? That's the other thing. Some towns might just be like, we physically don't have any more land. So if you want to build a new school, you're going to have to gut this one and renovate it because there's no more land to put a school. Assessors, right? Yeah, I don't know. So. Those maps are all in the town offices. You can see what land is. So, yeah. We just, what lands the planning board, planning board, would know, planning board yeah. would know that. Conservation right. would know, too. Yeah. Can I go back to transportation? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I looked up the, the reg. So the way it works is any student who resides two miles or less, mm -hmm. yeah. we do not have to transport. Oh, well, right. there you go. So that's one way out. If the ch children are K through six and they live beyond two miles, they are eligible for free transportation. Okay. Seven through 12, we can charge. Seven through twelve. Seven through twelve, we can charge. Yeah, but two miles. Two miles. Do you, but that two mile radius is can, oh, tons of kids. There's tons. I know. That That's would what I'm solve saying. probably solve the problem in Berlin if we. I'm not saying to do this, but I'm just saying, if they wanted to ride, or they would could they, pay. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. If or they, they wanted pay, to ride, and that would pay for the extra bus. I think that's what Shrewsbury does. That must be where yes. it is. Yes, and yeah, and now the other thing is, and I don't know, I don't think Boylston is very good at this. I can't speak to Berlin. I believe in, and maybe like, well, <clears throat> Sewell Street is an old road. I used yeah. to live on it. That's yeah. the road that Boylston Elementary was on. I was told um, when my kids were little, I, I went 
and I spoke with the town about getting a sidewalk on Sewell Street because I thought it was very dangerous and we were always outside a lot and I wanted a sidewalk and I'm a jogger I've almost gotten killed on that road and they said we can't put a sidewalk in on that it was that road was literally from like before the, the town had plans so you can't just go back and put a, a take a piece mm -hmm. of that road and that property now is owned right by all these homeowners so you would have to go to all these homeowners and Let's say are you willing to give put an easement on your land so that the town could put a sidewalk in mm -hmm. but it's really hard to say if you're t and again i don't know does berlin have a sidewalk walking no. up mm -mm. so frustrating because well, it's in the center the sidewalks come from the center of town to the school. That, but not around. Because, it's like, when you're in fifth there. grade or fourth grade, you know, and you live, like, a half mile from the school, right. mom can stand outside and you can walk up to school, like, yeah. and then problem solved. Um, so that's another conversation, yeah. you know, that, you know, and I know it'll cost money, but that was something we had talked about is why do these schools not have sidewalks around them? Because the farm towns. Exactly, and that was the answer I was told. Yep. And they said, you could go to all those houses. And I did, I asked like a few of the people and they were like, absolutely, I would love a sidewalk yeah. in front of my house. But it's just, it's actually doing yeah. it. I know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that would solve a lot of problems too. If you had a sidewalk going right up to the school a mile. So anyway, it all comes down to who's gonna pay for that. I'm right. think about are, the town. Are they gonna pay for that? Yeah, yeah, no, no. You tried for a long time in front of the fields in Berlin. Mm -hmm. but, right, is there no sidewalk? sidewalk once you get to those, there was one supposed to be. Because when you go left out of Berlin, no sidewalks. Right, that's what I mean. Right. Wasn't that supposed to happen? There was some and it's the fields. Can't you just initiative. cut yeah, into the uh, fields? I thought she was, yeah, I thought yeah. she was supposed to get sidewalks but no, there. Everything. I, it didn't happen. But you could cut into the fields. That's, isn't that, it's yeah. town property right there. But not when it's snow. Like, right? You can't, only in the nice, that's the other piece of it. You could do it in nice weather. Well, no, they have those little, like in Shrewsbury, they, um, mm -hmm. Walking path. They plow, plow the sidewalk. Who does? The town. Oh, the town yeah. plows. Oh, yeah, in front of oh, the school. The oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there's yeah, schools. Yeah. There's walkers. Yeah. They have walkers. If you live within X miles of the school, like you said, right. you can pay to ride the bus or you're you're considered a walker. But not through fields. They have crossing. In Berlin, if that, if that's no, but I meant. mean, like, the, the field abuts the road in Berlin, right? When you come, you're at the end of the driveway and you're going to go left on, is it South Street? Right. That part doesn't have a sidewalk, right? right? So, but the field goes right up to the road. That's well, the rock wall is a huge rock wall. Oh, whatever. Okay, so can you like? Oh, it's probably like an old rock wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I would, yeah. No one would want to take that down. It's beautiful. That goes right on the road. It goes well. There's a rock wall. There's a little bit of area, but not Maybe enough like for a sidewalk. Feet, yes. No, yeah. 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 Sidewalk. Now I know you're right. It is a rock wall. I wouldn't want the kids walking there. It's too narrow. No. Anyway, yeah, you're right. To no, you would have to take the rock wall down and put a real sidewalk yeah. in. But you would have to take that. I forgot about the wall. Yeah, I don't think okay. that's going to happen. Yep, anyways. Yeah, too. We had a little way, but I'll sell straight the two yeah. miles. All right, so action items. We're going to we'll plan to go to the FinCom meetings. Yep. yep. We'll probably meet again before those to prepare how the presentation or, you know, Nancy, you want to give us a practice on that or whatever. I. So the first school committee meeting in December, I should have a good rough draft ready. All right. Nice. So do you want us to meet before then, the subcommittee? I would like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Can we also just grab an update oh, from Dan? Yeah. So, can I? I yeah, I'm sorry. Can. Go no, ahead. No, no. Go I ahead. was just going to say on Dan on the field, what happens. Is because he, it's, yeah, is he it's, here? I don't know, but I, I will find out. Yeah, just because it's all, it's all, you have to do fall to get your spring ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. So whatever. I and mean, I know he has people that are coming in to do it. Um, because if we miss the window there, then we miss the spring season. Okay. Yeah. I missed one little section, and yeah, I apologize. Yeah, but, one um, of the things we actually had to add to was the section with additional increases. So we're currently in negotiations with our support, oh, yes. oh, yeah, support yeah. group, certain administrators. Um, I had that 195000 and after doing up all the grids, I'm around 300000 Okay. Where so are that's you? Been Sorry. Increased. Right the, here. What page? Ah, okay, okay. It's for the negotiation. Second page of the yeah. first. Yeah, second page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's been Because they're all, the paras are under contract? They're in a unified, unified agreement. They all so. are. Yeah. Ah. And yeah. in support of the secretaries, um, yeah. custodians, cafeteria workers. Every yep. three years, yeah. Yeah. Fall on the same year. 
Yeah, so that, and then that, teachers are next year. Definitely came in more than uh, after the year. Got it. After. after. And then we have a year off. That went fast. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Yes, it did. Mm. I said the same thing. That one. I'm like, didn't we just yeah. negotiate? I know. And the only thing that came out of the Capitol was um, the steamer for the kitchen. Because mm -hmm. um, Mike's applying for a grant. I think we can make that happen nice. Nice now. We'll see about that one. <laughs> just kidding. Great. All great. right. All right. Let's do you want to look at a date for the next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Year? Let's do that. How much was that steamer? Nine, I think. I'll talk later. Really? Uh huh. Okay. That's out of BES, right? BMS. Oh, Berlin. Oh yeah, that's not you. Well, you know what I mean. No, it isn't, but I, that's yeah. really high for a grant. Unless it's, is it like I think he was link? going through the Department of... Um, no, 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 that should be fine. Yeah. That's fine. Our first, is our meeting the 12th or the 5th, let's see. Um, yes. So do you want to meet the Friday before the 8th? I think it's the 12th, right, Carol? The 12th, yeah. 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 So do you want to meet the... Sure. The eighth looks good. Yeah. Sure. What time? Same time. Same place. Ten thirty. Mm -hmm. Is that where Julie? Yep. Ten thirty. Okay. Mm. December. What did we just say? Eighth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Ten thirty to eleven thirty. Eight. Nicole, I hate to. Uh, oh draft. God! It's saying uh, send to all. Um. Okay. Can and you I send an invite out for that. Yep. Thank you so much. And I was also thinking that we normally do our vote in February. Yeah. But I was wondering if we a second vote. We should um, push that off to the first meeting in March. After hearing what Mars had to say, it kind of was good yes. advice. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. As long as you can to more revenue comes in and we do yep. it the first meeting yep. in March. Um, so what is the meeting in February? Is the 13th and the 27th? I don't have the school committee calendar in yeah, front of me. I, I have. Do you want? Or we could even do it on the 27th. It's right. It's that one on the left side under the calendar. Oh, no. Say that again, Nancy. I'm sorry. So I, I can redo this. It would be March yeah. 12th, Nancy. Is that enough time for town meeting? March 12th? Yeah, I think I counted it out. One, two. Let's count it real quick. Seven weeks. How many days is that? 35? No. No. 49. 49. Yeah, I think we just make oh, it. Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on. The 12th, no, you said? No, because weekends don't count, yeah. Yeah, and they do. No, weeks. they do so count. It's, it's Everything days. counts. It's 45 so, days. days. That's okay. plenty of time. Then you're good. Yeah, 45. we're good. If we have it the 12th? Yeah. Is that Town March? meeting is the 6th, right? It's going to be Monday, it's May. It's the first Tuesday in May. I'm sorry, so yeah, we're May fine. 30. Yeah, you're good. We're yeah, good. Well, it's, town meeting's late this year. It was early last yeah. year. So if we could, the first. Would you guys be okay doing it March 12th, the vote? Yeah. Okay. Is... Is, are we just cutting? Are we just cutting a close? No, you still no, have plenty okay. of days. Okay, that's okay. what I was. Sorry, okay. because it's forty-five days plus seven days, and that's forty-nine. Yeah. Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. That's still fifty-six days, yeah, so we'll have ready. plenty of time. Yep. Because we're forty-five, so we'd have to post as long as. No, it's not forty-five plus seven. It's just forty-five days. Yeah, there's plenty of time. We're good. Yep. We just got to okay. post it seven days ahead yep. of time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get that? That one? was the. Okay. Yeah. So I'll redo the budget timeline um, and get that out to everybody. So the agenda for the March 12th meeting will just have to be out early because that would be oh, a yeah. public forum to vote. Yes. So that would be have to, put, have to put out it in the seven paper. days. It has to go on the paper. Yep. So, uh, can you for, go yes, that? for yeah, March, huge. I'd say March 1st, let's try to get all that out, right, Carol? Yeah. Absolutely. Because that gives actually seven business days, but I, I don't think it has to be seven business days. I think it's just seven days. But still. Let's just plan it for the first. Plan it for March 1st to get, first, to get an announcement yeah, out to the newspaper and, yeah. and to have that agenda ready to go um, and get that posted, right? Yep. Yep. Because that's the week after February break. Good. And we might not even need the 27th meeting. Yep. And then hopefully a lot of the, uh, we'll have a good idea on where we stand with a lot of revenue. I like that idea when they said that, doing Agreed. it a little yeah, later if possible. Yeah, yeah. all right, that was good. good and advice. then, all right, so then you guys will let us know when we're going to go to Berlin and Boylston. And then. So Berlin's Berlin December. 13th. Yep, just 13th. And I didn't get a date from Boylston. Maybe you can find out on. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll oh, we find out on Monday. Yeah. Monday. Monday. Right. We're going Monday. Mm -hmm. 
yep. to the select board meeting. Yeah, we can find that out Monday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We need a big chart of I know, like bright, I much know, I know. big calendar on the wall. I know, I know. Too no, much. this is helpful. This is Jay. Budget test. Chart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to find mine. I, I had a pile. All right, I'm going to make a binder like you. All right, so I'd like to adjourn this <laughs> meeting. <laughs> oh, can I have a motion to adjourn? Folders. Yes, so much. All right, and then second. Second. Yes. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, adjourn. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.